guys, I created this look for when you want to look glam but not overdone. Let's get started. I have my foundation, brows and eyelids prepped and I'm just going in over the eye primer with a very similar shadow to help the other shadows on top blend better. This eye look is so simple, it literally is two colours. The first being this pretty milk chocolate shade which is going right in the crease and I'm blending it upwards. The next and last shadow is this quite similar shade, but it's a little bit more darker. So we use the Stila eyeshadow to transition up towards the crease. I'm just patting this on the lid. Then while you're there, you might as well smoke out the shadow on the bottom lash line. For my winged liner, I'm using my favourite gel liner from Inglot and creating a baby wing. I start by tracing where I want the wing to be then dragging the brush in towards the eye. Once I have the outline, I just fill in the gaps from the outer wing to the inner corner of the eye. I find this is the easiest way to apply it, but it also takes a lot of practice, so keep on practicing. To make the eyes look more fresh and awake, I'm lining the bottom waterline with a light eyeliner. Then I apply a light coat of mascara because we're going to put on some falsies right after blush. I'm using NARS Orgasm Oldie Butter Goodie and just lightly applying it with my Zoeva Fan Brush. I think there's no second guessing here what lashes I'm going to use. These are a very old pair of Complete Me's and these babies are still going strong. It's like an investment for your lashes, long term growth and the profits are astounding. I'm seriously such a nerd. I gave my other obsession Galactic Face Glow a rest today and tried the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Powder. This is a whole other glow compared to the Galactic one. The Galactic one is a gold base and it's very glowy but this one is a peach based and almost iridescent. I guess it depends what look you're going for. I love them both. For lips, I am loving this combo. It is amazing. I wanna say this is quite a natural lip color, but obviously it's not my natural lip color. It's kind of like a no lipstick lipstick look. So I line my lips with the colour Brink from Colourpop. Then I fill them in with a matte lip cream in a lighter shade. Because it's a matte look, it looks much more natural than gloss, but I love how the lip liner really creates a crisp outline. And that my friends is my natural glam look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon.